everybody welcome to my channel my name is Sandra and it appears that I might be getting sick <laughs> so bear with me my voice is sounding kind of rough right now um, I actually was sick on Thanksgiving weekend oh right after Thanksgiving weekend so we're going to do a plan with me and this plan with me is let's just jump to the calendar so we know which day I'm talking about is the 16th to the 22nd. First things first, let's go to the monthly where I can pull out the task card. I did sleep in today, so I'm running late on time, so I'm gonna blow through this <laughs> um, and not sit and chat your ear off forever. So we'll re quickly review the previous week. I do go through the dailies for this, and uh, we'll start back with Thursday, because you know, that's just how I roll. Okay, so that was a Thursday. I did not get that video edited that day. So I had a lot to do because it was approaching Thanksgiving weekend. And I, yeah, I only, what did I get done? It really doesn't look like it got a lot done. And I can't remember what happened. Oh yeah, it was the University um, of Alberta appointment. So I actually had an incident and like this is talking like so and this is just kind of like my experience to you guys and i'm not really sure of the outcome yet but i'm, I'm kind of sure i'm gonna quickly relate this because i know i am running short on time so basically what happened i had got um an etsy order this person had texted well she had like messaged me on etsy and said i want this sticker but i want it by the 10th or the 11th can you get it to me and i said oh like shipping like um, free shipping is letter mail. There's no guarantee, but generally it takes two business days to get to you. And if I ship it today before five, it will probably get to you before the 10th and 11th, because as you guys know, Monday is a Canadian holiday here. Kind okay, of took her time getting back to me um, through messaging. Like it took like an hour each message instead of just like really quick. And so I had to go to my appointment, which was at 145 and we were stuck there until like five o'clock so I did not get her package sent out that day so I was like okay if you still want it by the 10th or the 11th I need to send it express is that okay and she said yes I'll email you the postage so I went to the email the post office that night to email it or to send it sorry and she gave me the wrong address so I finally I emailed her that night she got back to me the next day which was on Friday, she gave me the right address. I sent an express post and sent her the bill. And then yesterday she got back to me saying that it was outrageous that I could send that to her and that I had not told her it was $20. It was actually $26 for express shipping. And that's in Canada. So you guys know the cost of shipping right now is outrageous, right? I'm, I'm not the only one. So I had showed her that, you know, sent her messages that yes, I had already stated that in the message. You said that you would send me shipping and she did not send me the shipping. So that's on Etsy. So I just want to warn you guys, if you also have Etsy shops, make sure you make the person pay ahead of time. Do not take their word that they will pay you shipping by email transfer or anything like that. Because if you do and they decide not to pay, you will be stuck with the bill, which is exactly what happened. So this customer was absolutely unreasonable. She demanded to have it there within two days, the express day postage and refused to pay. So just so you know, if you do have an Etsy shop, do not do what I did. So I know that there are a few of you who have ordered from my shop and I, I'm so deeply um, humbled actually. I'm, I'm so thankful that you have supported me in that way because I love, um, you know, I love designing, I love drawing and stuff. And so if you guys have, I just wanted to let you guys know, you're the first to know, I am going to be increasing my shipping rates. So I'm going to be starting to charge, I just have to figure out how to do it on Etsy, but I'm going to be starting to charge the $3 shipping um, standard rate. Um, I think, I'm not sure if it's going to be across the Canada and the US, I might charge $2 across Canada and it'll be 3 US for regular letter mail, but I will be trying to add like express post and all those options. So if people want that, they can pick that, but I am not going to be paying like out of pocket again for that. And I know it was my mistake. I know I shouldn't have done it, but I think it'll just be easier because right now I'm basically eating the cost. Like I'm, I'm saying free shipping, but I'm not charging the appropriate cost for my stickers to make free shipping um, an option for myself any longer. Like I just can't afford it. So yeah, unfortunately I'm going to be starting to charge um, two or $3. I'm not sure yet. 
and uh, for letter mail. And then for, I'll try to add the other options for, for, um, quicker, you know, postage. So anyway, so that's my story. <laughs> okay. So Friday I was super, super productive. I got almost every single thing done on here except for the pantry and yeah, so many things. I did get my video done and I think, um, Chad and I went, why did I not put it on here? Did we not go to karaoke? We went to karaoke Friday night. For some reason, I keep forgetting to put it on here, but we did go. Um, and Friday night was pretty fun. Uh, my mom slept over and she watched our kids. Not that it's that hard anymore because um, I get my daughter in bed before she even comes over. And then my baby sleeps in the crib by, like overnight by himself now, except for last night. That's another story I'll tell you later. Um, but she doesn't really have to do much except watch my older son, which she does anyway. And he's, he's nine, right? So he doesn't need that much help. So anyway, it's, it's so much easier now and she's still struggling to, you know, to, well, she's not struggling. She just doesn't want to watch the kids anymore. So it's been a struggle for us because we can't afford a babysitter right now. And yeah, it's, it's hard because while Chad will stay home gladly to watch the kids while I go out, he doesn't get that break because he doesn't feel comfortable going where we go by himself alone because um, he says they're all my friends, which they're not. But because I've been going by myself so frequently when he works out of town, they've kind of turned into my friends, I guess. And he's just not as comfortable going by himself. So he goes with me or not at all. And now I, I'm starting to feel really bad. Okay, let's jump into Saturday. So Saturday was the day before the um, dinner that I was doing on Sunday. So I started doing um, a whole bunch of stuff. But before we did that, um, because Friday night was karaoke night, that morning we woke up, I made breakfast um, for everybody. And then we went to the witch market. So we have this Edmonton um, witches market at the Bellevue Community League. And it was so cool. There were so many different people there and so many different like booths and stuff. And um it was, yeah, it was just a really neat experience just to go and see what was offered. So that was fun. My whole family went and then we went swimming right after. And that was a rush, but we found out swimming was open till seven. So we ended up staying way later. We didn't leave till I think it was three thirty, four o'clock and we stayed right till seven. So that was fun. It was a good exercise for us. And then um, we came home and then I started making all of the food for the next day. So I like kind of pre-made everything, um, which really helped the next day. And I did not clean the bird cage, but that had been on my radar forever. Okay. So then Sunday, I didn't have a lot of work to do. Um, and I did actually have two sticker orders, which I never got done. Um, but I was busy. Like it was so busy. The first guest arrived at two, two thirty, and Chad had been out. So I kind of had to entertain while I was cooking it was a very, very busy day. And then this is the day that my son got sick. So he had a severe 24 hour flu. He was sick that morning. You know, he was in the bathroom and then he started throwing up and he stayed in bed all day. It was terrible. I'm the only one who went up there to see, like to see him, make sure he was okay to bring him water. Um, he refused food and, um, and that was it. Okay. So then Monday again, I had to catch up um, but Monday was, um, uh, a day off. So Chad was still home. We had to get groceries. Um, we ran later than we thought. So we didn't leave for groceries till one. I went to the spirit of Halloween with Connor at five, <laughs> got him a Halloween costume. So he ended up getting a plague doctor costume. And then I think it was like seven o'clock. It was dark out. Okay. I have never gone out past like a certain time, like when it's dark because here, um, you know, when it gets to be winter, it's like really dark at five o'clock. It just is pitch black outside. So seven o'clock, it was dark and we took the kids to the park. <laughs> we stayed till 830 and then we came home and got the kids to bed. Um, so that was crazy. Um, and what did I do? I Did I do my, my sticker order? Yeah, I did my sticker orders. I think I emailed them or I mailed them in the mail. I put them in the mail. Um, still didn't clean the bird cage, but I did lots of work. So I started doing my weekly journaling. The only thing I didn't get to was my kids' journals. And so this was, 
This was the night we went to bed at midnight. This is the night I started feeling sick. Yeah, because yesterday was Wednesday. So I started feeling sick. It was midnight and I was like, oh, Chad, I don't feel so good. I know I'm feeling sick. I just know it. And then I started going to the washroom and then 4.43 in the morning, like Monday night, Tuesday morning, I started throwing up. And then so all of Tuesday, I was in bed sick. It was an emergency. My mom was supposed to work. I called her. I was like, mom, I need you to watch the kids. I can't get out of bed. I can't do it. So I, I called in. Um, for my son, because there was no way I was driving him to school. So I got him to stay home and he was still feeling kind of tired from him being sick anyway on Sunday. So he stayed home from school. My mom came over to watch the other kids. My daughter rebelled. She got into absolutely everything. She dumped nail polish on the floor. She got into the first aid kit, everything. She squeezed out all of the polysporin. Like it was so bad. My mom couldn't watch her. Like yeah, now I think now she realizes how hard it is to watch my daughter because she got into everything. My mom wasn't watching her enough, you know, like I make sure she doesn't do all that stuff, but my mom just kind of like let her go at it. <laughs> so, and honestly, I was so sick. I didn't even care. Like every time, and it, it was hard too, because every time something did happen, my mom would text me or she'd come into my room and she'd be like, Danica did this, Danica did that. And I was like, mom, I am too sick to give a damn right now. Like you need to get out of here. And like, I honestly, I wasn't even coherent. I could not even talk. I really couldn't. I was so sick. Um, and then it kind of went away. Probably that night, I, you can see I crossed off a few things. I woke up at nine o'clock and I did a few things and then that was it. And we went to bed at 11 and I slept like a baby again, even though I, I literally slept all day and I slept again until Wednesday morning. And this was yesterday. Um, that sticker order thing that, that, that girl told me yesterday that she was like, up, like disappointed about the shipping thing. And I was like, I don't know why you're disappointed. I, <laughs> you know, I, um, I paid for shipping for you, got your item there on time. And so why are you disappointed? I'm the one who's out the money. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. Sorry. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I, I did really good. I had couldn't do meatballs. My hamburger went bad because I was sick and my hamburger was in the fridge. And yeah, it went bad. I did do my hobonichi and I did have a shower. So just didn't cross those off. We did not organize the toys. So I have to do that today because when my mom was here, she just throws the toys everywhere. And I have certain bins where I put stuff so my daughter can find it. And so I need to do that today. And I also have to edit my planners on this um, sub box haul that came in. So I did get um, Peach Promenade and Farmhouse Fall. They're here. I filmed the video. I'll have it posted probably before this video. So you guys will see that. Okay. And I did, um, I uploaded, I didn't actually do much designing, but I did upload some new die cuts. So they've got this like really cool um, overlay on them. So they're uploaded and they're kind of tending towards Christmas stuff now. So that's cool. I did have a Zoom call for my son's phys physio. Um, I'm trying to put on his pet mask for his CF and I, I'm i struggling with the, the thing that goes on his head. So she showed me how to do that. And then today I actually have a doctor's appointment for my son at 11, 1130. So I got to go and do that. So I'm going to cross off film plan with me because we are doing that right now. So next is review goals. And I am going to have to blow through this because I'm running out of time. Okay, so October goals. Um, two birthdays are done. Actually, today is my father-in-law's birthday. So I'm going to get my husband to call him and wish him happy birthday or we'll do it tonight over a FaceTime. Um, you have an appointment. Thanksgiving is done. Um, the 20th, there's no school. Um, Halloween costumes. We haven't got pumpkins yet, so that's the next thing, but we have costumes. Haven't done any winterized yard, but I do need to start raking. October 30th is our first um, pickup day for yard waste, so I want to get some of that done. Um, family, we did Thanksgiving dinner. And that's pretty much it. So I still want to set up my Christmas melodies. I showed you guys in the last plan with me, I think. I want to set those up yet. 
haven't had much time with being sick. You know, it's like you have to play catch up. Okay, so monthly goals. Okay, we did have the UV appointment. We got Connor's Halloween costume. Um, family time, Thanksgiving plan. We've had lots of family time. Gift ideas, not yet. Okay, so that's it. And review compass card. Okay, so water. You know what? When I was sick, I'm not going to count that because I was super sick. Well, you know what? Let's just not count water because I haven't been getting enough water the last day or two. So water, I've, I've been lagging behind. I have to catch up again. Journal I've been doing every day. Human design haven't done. Moon magic, not yet this week. Food, we did. Savannah's birthday. Um, birthday invite, RSP, we did that. Um, RSVP, I should say. Um, we, My son has a birthday party on the 21st for that. Percussions, we haven't been every day, but I did yesterday. Doctor follow-up. Um, I can't remember what that was for. I'm just going to cross it out. I think it was from me, but I'm going to hold off for now. Okay, Connor study. We studied for his math test. Costume. Date night we had. I haven't checked his foot yet. Buy and sell. Haven't done any of that. Haven't done the pantry. Weekly review I did last week. I'll just give you guys a quick glimpse here. I didn't do the first week. But I did do last week. Right here. See? I did it. <laughs> okay. Um, print, PA, eczema stickers, not yet. Maladies, nope. Makeup vid ideas and brainstorm end of year vids. So not yet. I kind of did, but not fully. Okay, so we're going to quickly make a new um, compass card and do new rolls and goals. All right, so it look, kind of looks like we have a lot to do this week, and we do um, kind of, you know, if I get these things, there's that bookshelf of my mom's. I've had this on there forever, and I have taken all those pictures of the Facebook buy and sell items, have not even touched it. I do need to focus on that because any extra money we make right now would probably be really helpful. Um, okay, so now I have to look at the calendar master task and inbox, so I'll quickly view that. So calendar for this week, we have um, picture retakes, which that's on Tuesday. And I want to get that done because my son's first pictures were not very good. So I need to remember that. Write that down on my weekly. Um, the 20th, so that Friday, he's got no school, which is kind of nice. Um, why did I write? Well, that was for paycheck. Okay. Um, then the birthday party on the Saturday, which is nice because it's a long weekend. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Um, just grocery shopping Sunday. Um, this is, that's what that was. It was a budgeting sticker. That's just takeout, early dismissal. So, um, no appointments, nothing like that, which is nice. No birthday. Well, except for this birthday, I've already bought the gift. I just need to wrap it. So I'll put that on my weekly because I did not put that on the compass card, but I'll put that on the weekly task. Okay. So master tasks. Um, I don't know if I can cross any of this stuff off yet. Connor's costume we got done. Still haven't fixed the dryer, but we did save $80 on our bill, which is crazy. I'm going to start raking the yard. Um, I did buy Danica a new pair of shoes because all of her runner shoes are like toast and it's not quite cold enough for boots so I bought her a new pair of like high high top runners 
so boots can wait a little bit longer, I think. Um, I do have to cut my son's hair soon. Is it with Tressa? I don't think so. She actually got her surgery, so I don't think she's ready for that yet. Um, yeah. Okay, I have to order sticker paper soon, too. So I started Christmas stickers. And that's it. I haven't done my poll yet for Christmas, but I'll do that soon. Okay, so I do have quite a few things I want to focus on this week. Um, and then the other thing was the inbox too, wasn't it? So inbox, see, there's some things on here that are on my weekly actually. Okay. All right. Good enough. So what we're going to do is plan the week. Again, I don't know if I have time to do my, um, if I have time, it depends how long this weekly takes me because um, you guys see it fast forwarded, but I do it in real time, obviously. So it depends how long it takes me. But if I have time, I will do my business one as well. But I will do them all together. Um, so you'll see that. And let's get started. If I love all the ways the world puts me to the test, if I embrace every fall, learn to grow and keep myself tall, would it hurt at all? Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. This how it's supposed to feel Tell me when it's over I got someplace that I gotta be It won't leave My friends, hey Get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home Your name is written in the sky It might feel just like you're on your own But baby, it's another lie Remember you were me I try to lie Alright guys, I realized I did not have time to finish my work one, 
I'm going to start my son's lunch and then wake my kids up. So anyway, this is what my week looks like. I'm really happy with this. Um, as you remember from last week, this one was like super colorful. And while this is cool and I like it, um, I also like that my to-do list is very short. <laughs> um, this one is also pretty. So I use some of the Planners Anonymous um, stickers to decorate the dates. And I love the, um, the rainbow foil. Um, all of the script. I love that. It's like my favorite. So I cut out these um, ghosts from the sidebar of that and I just put them here. And then I use some of my own stickers here. Um, this is from my latest sticker sheet. Um, I think it's, oh, what is it called? I can never remember. But anyway, if you can't see this quote, it is really light. It says, for all you know, a witch may be living next door to you right now. And that's by Roald Dahl, The Witches. So anyway, so I think this is perfect. I love the colors, um, but I'm going to tidy up now and we're going to call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, again, feel free to leave them down below. If you're new, please consider subscribing. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and click the bell button so you won't miss out on next videos that I post and we'll see you guys next time. Bye friends.